Good morning, HWC kids. How are you this week? So last week, I taught you a little trick of how to remember who you can pray for. And this week, uh, we have a guest speaker with us that's going to be teaching on grace and truth and forgiveness from Ephesians 4. But that kind of ties in with prayer too, right? Because in prayer, we're truthful with God. We ask for his grace and his forgiveness a lot, and we offer forgiveness for other people too. So this morning, I wanted to focus on prayer again and give you another kind of tip that can help you um, when you don't quite know what to say, okay? So this morning, I snagged Sarah's art box. See that? It's full of art stuff. We have art stuff everywhere in our house. And this tip takes something that you look at every day and it makes you think how you can connect it to something that you can pray about. So I'm going to give you a couple examples. All right, so in my box here, I have a pen. What do you do with a pen? You write, right? <laughs> so you may say something like, Dear God, thank you that you are the author of my story and my life. Thank you for planning my days and for writing me an adventure of a lifetime. Then scissors. God, I'm so sorry for when I hurt people. Sometimes my words are sharp and they cut and they hurt. Please forgive me for those words. An eraser. Erase those sins from my heart, God. Please make my heart clean so that it can be ready and open to worshiping you and to loving other people. Glue? Maybe, God, thank you for my family and my friends and how we stick together. Thank you for always sticking with us. Paintbrush. God, everything you have created is a work of art. Thank you for your beautiful creation. Thank you for the sun that shines, the beautiful yellow sunshine of summer. Thank you for that. Thank you for the green grass and all of our plants and flowers that grow to feed us, to make us happy, to give us places to run and play. Thank you for water. Thank you for um, the fun that we have with water, the way that it helps our bodies run smoothly and that we get to play and splash and enjoy water and maybe even go fishing. So you can see, I took something that we use every day and I kind of looked at it and made them reminders of things that we can pray to God about. And so now when we open this pencil box and we get all of these supplies out, we'll think of that again. And that will happen sometimes if you just walk around your house and find things around your house. And then every time you pass that, you'll think, oh, God, thank you for that. That reminds me to pray for whatever it is. So I hope you can take the opportunity to do that today. Maybe walk around your house, walk around outside and find things that help you remember things that you can talk to God about and use them as tools for prayer. All right. Have a great day. Enjoy the sun. Bye.